Hey fellow Star Citizens, Scrapchat here. Uh, in today's episode, we'll be looking at several small changes I've noticed while uh, playing 3.18 in the PTU. Now when I say small, I mean I haven't heard them mentioned in the developer videos that SIG puts out, uh, at least not in any detail. Um, but they are still there and, and are very noticeable changes nonetheless. Most of them i found tend to revolve around the spaceports and space stations, but I'm sure there are more out there I just haven't seen yet. Alright, let's get started. So let's go get our ship. And Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. I am going to retrieve my Scorpius, and I'm retrieving it. And that'll be Stand by. that'll be important Your in a minute. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Please visit us again. Uh, four. There we go. Okay, so normally when I retrieve my ship, all I have to do is turn the engines on because I leave mine powered up when I come in. I just turn the engines off. Well, now your ship is always started or it's always retrieved in a powered off state. So you actually have to power it on for it to do anything. So that's new. That's, that's different. Um... And I, I don't know if that's I, the only thing I could, the only reason I could think they would be doing that is to solve the issue of uh, the floating ships. You know, if you leave your engine ons, if you leave your engines on, uh, occasionally the ship will be you know floating ten meters above the above the uh, hangar floor. So maybe that was their solution. Although I haven't had that problem in a long time. Although I also normally turn off my engines, as it shouldn't be a problem. But anyway, so that's new. So you do have to turn on your ship from a, like a cold start. Uh, the next thing we have, if you notice, the uh, velocity indicator is all the way at the top. Normally, when in 3.17, it's at RCM. Uh, again, not a big deal. It's just now I gotta scroll even further down because. I like to have it eh, down around there. You know, I don't want to blow through the roof or anything when I lift off. So, so that changed. Uh, let's see what else. Um, oh, here's a good one. Listen to this. Take off and coast. Yeah, it tells us that we took off. Like, I didn't notice that. And then we have... There we go. So now your ship will tell you that you've successfully landed and successfully taken off. I don't know why it needs to do that. It really does nothing for me, but you know, whatever. Um, let's see what else we got. I think that's all we have in the hangar uh, for when we're leaving. So let's take it out. And we'll see some other changes here. Maybe if we open the doors. Okay. Oh, there we go. You are here to launch.
Okay, so we have a couple changes out here. First one I want to show you quickly is that the uh, visit again. animation for scan is different. Here, I'll do a scan. So it kind of shoots out more of a straight line now instead of uh, filling up your whole screen and... and yeah, it's just different. So there's that. And then also, uh, when we request a hanger, it makes a small chirp sound just as you uh, make the request. Let me try that. Please proceed to sign landing bank. Did you hear that little chirp? <laughs> anyway. Little little changes. Now here's another one, oldie but a goodie. Oops, am I upside down? Yeah, I think I am. There we go. Oh wait a minute. Huh, no, I am now. So do you remember back in, it was 316 when I first started playing, and we had this on the landing pads. See that little little uh, HUD assist for landing? Yeah, that went away in 3.17, and now it's back. So that, that I found interesting. Um, anyway, it doesn't really do anything. It just lets you know where you're supposed to land, I guess. I don't know why they brought it back. I, I don't know. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, something else we're going to go look at actually is going to require me to fly down to, uh, down to Lauraville. So, I'll, uh, I'll see you when I get down there. Okay, so I'm uh, down in uh, Lorville on Hurston now. And uh, this is uh, another annunciation that I think I've only ever seen at uh, Lorville. I, I definitely didn't see it at uh, Microtech, like at Port Trestler or at uh, New Babbage. So let's see what the, let's see what this sounds like. Warning. Leaving safe zone. I didn't realize this was a safe zone. <laughs> That's so weird. Also, well, we'll leave it, I guess. But and also, uh, I noticed there's lights now at at every hangar, and I don't remember that. I'll have to go back and check in 3.17, but that doesn't look... I just noticed that literally just now when I was landing at Laurelville. I'm like, I don't remember a million... Because if you go up here high enough and look down... You know, uh, now we don't see it. There we go. I just don't remember seeing all these lights. <laughs> and apparently, even when you're... Apparently, you, I don't know. They just told me I was leaving the safe zone, but I was coming towards them. So where is... I don't know where the safe zone is. But look at all those lights. I don't... That does not look like 3.17. I'll double check that. I can't... That wasn't on my list. I just noticed that just now. But definitely the uh, warning leaving safe zone, that's new. That is, and I don't know what it means. Because you get it coming and going, apparently. All right. Um, unfortunately, they wouldn't let me tank up <laughs> when I was in the hangar there after flying from uh, New Babbage. And I need to go to Area 18 next. I don't think I can get there. Let me see. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, 
where's my little oh there it is all right i will see you guys over at area 18. Okay, we're over on uh, Area 18, and I've noticed some changes in the tram uh, that runs between uh, Riker Spaceport and the, uh, Ar um, what's it called, Arcor Plaza uh, Business District. So let's take a real quick look at what the change is. First of all, I don't remember us dropping down like that off of the platform. That, I think, is, is different. Also, you can now sit on seats, which I don't believe you can do right now in 3.17, like that. So that's different. And then the, the uh, there's one other difference going in this direction towards Riker. see that here in a minute I must say the the ride is much smoother now <laughs> it's been pretty bumpy the last couple patches in the now PTU all right here we go Watch what happens when we come to the platform. See that? We're pulling into it, which doesn't happen in uh, 3.17. You just you just kind of glide right up to it and you're there. You don't you don't uh, uh, basically pull into it. Tram now leaving the station. Stand clear of the doors. Now we have one more change I just noticed a few minutes ago. going towards uh, Arcorp Plaza. Normally when, when I ride this, uh, it, it um, kind of stops for uh, f several seconds midway through the, the ride here to Arcorp Plaza. And it doesn't seem to do that anymore. It just keeps on going, which, you know, I never knew why it stopped anyway. It didn't seem to do it for any particular purpose. We're just chugging along. Yeah, I think that's where we would have stopped right back there and paused. Oh, see, there's one guy dropping. Man, look at that. And here we are pulling up to the Arcorp Plaza uh, platform. So yeah, well, I, I I see some changes with the uh, with the Area 18 tram. Like I said, small changes, but I noticed them. Now watch, we're going to drop. I don't think we drop right now. I'm going to go back and check on that, but I, I think that's new. So, anyway, uh, I'm sure there are, are more out there. So drop me a comment and let me know if you've seen any small undocumented changes. Like, like I said, like the ones I'm seeing uh, for those of you in the PTU. Um, so that's, that's all I have for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Scratch it out.